What's up DFS players? I thought I was done with prize picks for videos today, but no way. A bunch of good player props just showed up. So one I hit, Jason Alexander over two and a half strikeouts, John Gray over 17 and a half outs, and then this pick I gave out in the previous video. But anyways, now I'm going to have a four pick entry and it is profitable. It is profitable. So let's go ahead. Let's go through it. So the first is John Gray over 17 and a half outs. That's what we want. So we want Gray over 17 and a half. We want Jason Alexander over two and a half strikeouts. This is a big pricing discrepancy. You can see between the sports books and prize picks, sports books have this over heavily, heavily juiced, which shows you that this should be a slam in your prize picks entry, right? No other sports book is pricing this better than minus 167. Hammer it. So that's the second pick I have. John Gray over and outs. We've already been through that one. Then I have Jameson over four and a half strikeouts, all from the Odds Jam positive EV page, which just shows you mathematically profitable player props on prize picks. And we've gone through the math in a ton of other videos. So if you're curious about the math, whatever it is, feel free to, you know, check that out. The final one is going to be Jesse Winker. Who is Jesse Winker? Under one and a half player bases. Again, insane pricing discrepancies between prize picks and the sports books, right? All the sports books have this juiced all the way to minus, you know, minus 165 to minus 170. We can get an implied price of minus 137 on prize picks. So for any four pick entry, I believe you're going to be getting plus 900 odds. So let's go ahead. Let's lock it in. Over, over, over. We're taking three pitcher overs. Again, just all from the Odds Jam Positive EV page. Don't try to reinvent the wheel, right? As a DFS player, like, just look for value on prize picks. Trust that betting markets are, you know, indicative of win probability, which they obviously are. And it should be very clear when looking at John Gray over 17 and a half player outs that this is a slam in a prize picks entry. Sportsbooks are pricing this minus 169 to minus 179, right? In prize picks, they don't vary your payouts depending on if you select overs or unders. Payouts don't change depending on if you pick overs or unders, right? So you want to look for value and where the sportsbooks think a pick is much more likely to go over or under, right? So anyways, let's go ahead. Let's lock this in. Um, max entries are 150. So 150 to win 1.5 G's for pick entry. Let's go. So we'll go ahead. We'll hit it. We'll lock it in. Really like it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you hit it. Let's make some money.